Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this abstract fire orb in Blender. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add an icosphere. Set the subdivisions to 4. Now press Ctrl 3. Go to the modifiers and set the level sphere part and render to 3 or 4. I'm going to set them to 4. In the render properties, go to color management. Make sure the fusions transform is set to standard and the look to none. If you only want to create a single render, then you don't need to change that. Go to shading. Make sure you're using cycles and go to the world properties. Go to color and set it to sky texture. Set the sun elevation to 5. Back in the render properties, go to film. Make it transparent and enable a transparent glass. Click on new, delete the principal BSTF, add a mix shader and control shift click on it. Set the factor to 0.9. Add a glass BSTF. I'm going to make this a light blue and plug it into the top here. Now add a transparent BSTF. Put that here and plug it into the bottom. Now we need a volume scatter node. Control shift click on it, add a color ramp, put that here and plug the color into the color. Also let's set the density to 100, set the black to 0.39 and the white to 0.43. Make the white purple, add a mix RGB, plug the color into the factor, add a Voronoi texture, plug the distance into color 1. Set it from F1 to distance to edge. By the way, if you want to have these previews here, you can get the node preview add-on for the link in the description. Plug the distance into the color of the transparent BSTF. Add a color ramp and put it here. Set the white to 0.645. Make the white a slight light orange like this. And let's make the black slightly darker. Add a noise texture and plug the factor into the scale. Set the scale here to 18.93. Add a mask wave texture and plug the height into the randomness. Set it to 4D and let's keyframe the W. Set the scale to 2.5 and the detail to 15. Plug the height into the vector of the noise texture as well. Open a new window here and set it to the graph editor. Make sure the icosphere and the node are selected and click on this drop down and on this one and select the default value. Go to the modifiers and select noise. Set the scale to 250 and the strength to 10. Close this window again. Duplicate the mix RGB and plug the color into the factor and into color 2. Add a math node. Set it to subtract and set the bottom value to 0.85. Plug the value into the top socket. Add a color ramp and plug the color into the top socket. Duplicate it and plug it into color 2. Add a gradient texture. Set it to spherical and plug the color into the factor here and here. With the gradient texture selected, press Ctrl T and let's use the object output. Plug the vector into the vector of the Musgrave texture. One thing I forgot to do earlier is to plug the color of the mix RGB into the vector of the Voronoi texture. Set the scale here to 0.5. Bring the white into some around here. And for this one, let's bring the black into somewhere around here. For this color ramp, I'm going to bring this more into the red and this one more into the yellow. Now let's save. Go back to layout mode. Press delete on the numpad. Press 1 to go into front view and hit shift A and add a camera. Press Ctrl or 0. I'm going to leave the camera here. Hit shift A and add an empty. Plane access. Press 3 to go into a side view and go into rendered view. As you can see, we've got this sphere here in the middle. I want the empty to be somewhere around here. Go into wireframe view and press G and Y and put it somewhere around here. I'm going to press Ctrl and click and drag to erase this. Select the camera and go to the object data properties. Enable depth of field. Select the empty here and set the F step to 0.5. Set the blades to 16. Go to the render properties and set the max samples to 800. Now let's go to compositing. Enable use nodes and enable denoising data to get these outputs. And add a denoise node set to accurate. In the output properties, select the resolution that you want. And let's create a new folder. Now let's set the file format to JPEG and the quality to 100%. Let's save again and press Ctrl F12. Once it's done rendering, close this window and go to video editing. In the render properties, go to color management. Set the view transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Go to the output properties. Hover over the file location and press Ctrl C. Set the file format to FFmpeg video. 
the encoding container to MPEG4 and the output quality to high quality. Make sure that you are on frame 1 and HFDA image sequence. Go to the folder where you have the images and press A and enter. Let's save again and press Ctrl F12. If you liked this tutorial then you are probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.